making their way through the foster care system need an adult to be on their side and advocate for them. And that's where court appointed special advocates step in. In today's Stronger Houston report, KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers gives us a look at the efforts to help those in the foster care system cope with life and the pandemic. The pandemic has had far reaching effects, but here in Galveston County, they say those directly impacted have been children. Now an organization says that they need volunteers to help provide a voice to the voiceless. Many times their life has been chaos. Children rescued from hardship. They are vulnerable and they are fearful. Making their way through the foster care system. They don't trust especially the children who are moving from placement to placement. The pandemic is revealing glaring disparities in Galveston County, making those who are most vulnerable even more so. COVID has impacted the child abuse reports here in our community, in our county. The number of children that have entered foster care in the last 12 months is 100% over the same number as last year. Connie Ricketts says her caseload has skyrocketed. She's the executive director of CASA, or Court Appointed Special Advocate. The nonprofit trains volunteers to advocate for children in foster care. Ricketts says this graphic illustrates the number of new children that CASA has helped to represent. Because of the spike in numbers, they currently have 53 cases or 100 children without a CASA representative and they need help. A volunteer meets regularly with the children and then advocates for their care. Just to be that constant um, voice and constant face for children in foster care, it's just very important to volunteer your time. Our children need a voice to the judge. Anna Selves has served as a volunteer for more than eight years. While she may be their voice, she says the children she represents changed her life. What do these children mean to you? They mean the world. They're our future. Um, they didn't put themselves here, so they're just really victims of what is happening around them. CASA board members say the need for volunteers in Galveston County is at a critical point, and those who sign up will undoubtedly alter a child's path. Sometimes that volunteer might be the only kindness that child is experiencing. Something important to note, you don't have to live in Galveston County in order to sign up to be a volunteer advocate. We have more information on our website at clicktohouston.com. In Galveston County, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.